Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys what I do when I go to work. Um, it's a very, very, very simple glam. That's the reason I have no foundation on in my face right now. I just have some moisturizer. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys because sometimes I only have not too long to get ready. Um, and this is basically what I used to do when I was in nursing school too. Uh, minus something. Sometimes when I was in nursing school I just would not add eyeshadow because... I would have to be, you know, an hour away at 6 a.m. So it was 4 a.m. right now, and I was like, I could care less. I always look put together for the patients, of course, but, um, yeah, I didn't look full glam. But the first thing I'm going to do is tie my hair up, and sometimes just to be a little cute, I like to use hair sticks instead of, like, the actual, like, um, this is the other one I use a lot, uh, hair tie. Um, you could do whatever you want, obviously, but I think this just gives it a very cute um, look. Let me just tie it. I always leave the bangs out. And when I was in nursing school, I would tie my hair up in a bun and then I'd put it in a little like mesh thing because I didn't want them to see uh, my green hair um, because it, green hair was not allowed uh, when I was in nursing school, supposedly per hospital protocol. But I do have to say that I would sometimes see nurses or, you know, lab workers with, like, pink, blue hair. So, like, it was like, I know it wasn't the hospital. It was the school that they just wanted us to look natural all the time. Which, whatever. So I had to, like, hide it and whatever. And plus, when you're in nursing school, you definitely should. Um, even when you're a nurse, you probably should, depending on the unit you work in, I guess. But, um... When you're in nursing school, you're going to clean poop. So having it up in a bun and then that mesh thing was probably one of the best things I had to do because it would keep poop out of me. And then, you know, this, like this. And sometimes I'd even have clips because, y'all, I was just, I'm not getting it on myself today. No, I am not. Um, alrighty, so I've tied my hair. You guys want to see it from the back? It looks like that. And basically I got these at Hot Topic for like eight dollars I don't know and they do last me the whole day um, or at least most of the day if I don't do a really good like putting them in but yeah so first I'm gonna put my foundation I have my little two dollar Nordstrom rack uh, sponge it's all wet and ready to go and then I've actually changed because now I have a job so I don't only have to use wet and wild um, now I'm gonna use the L'Oreal infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear in the color 450 It has an SPF of 25, so that's kind of nice. I'm trying to see if it has a shade name. Oh, it's Rose Beige, I guess. Um, I didn't know what shade I am. I think this is a little bit too light for me, but what are we going to do? You know what I mean? So I just put this on my face. I don't have one of those really cool um, glass thingies, so start blending. Unless I'm running late, which, thank God, I am one of those people that hate running late. Um, so, especially, like, if I'm going out with friends, I don't care about my, whatever. It's not that I don't respect you, it's just, like, you're gonna understand if I'm ten minutes late, you know what I mean? Unless we're, like, going to, like, an event that I have to be there at seven. Um, but if I'm just gonna meet you at your house or something, whatever, 7.20 instead of 7.00. Um, but when it comes to meetings and work, I am not late. I get to my job 30 minutes early, ready to go, seeing my list of patients, and, you know, I just start kind of getting prepared because I like being prepared. Um, but, so I always do my foundation. That is not something that I just skimp out on. Like, oh my god, I'm late. I just always do a little bit because I want to look presentable too, you know? I want to look well put together. Right now, I think I might have done that a little bit too much. Patting, patting. Because in the morning, I just try my best. I, I think I put on too much foundation today, too. Like, I just put some on. Um, and then the next step that I do not miss ever since I started doing it. I think in the beginning of nursing school, I would just go like this, put some eyeliner. Both eyeliners, a little bit of mascara, and just leave. But now I put powder because my face is oily. And if I don't put powder... Like, you see that dewiness right now? Yeah, I'm going to look like y'all could see some freaking casker oil instead of my face. So, 
Let me get my um, powder. All right, and for powder, I use my Magic Star Translucent Powder. It smells like cotton candy. I love it. Um, makes me happy in the morning sometimes when I'm getting ready. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to use some of this. And I'm also going <coughs> to always inhale it too. And I'm going to use a Morphe X Jeffree Star brush. This is JS2. It's an amazing uh, fluffy brush that I love to use. does a good job. Also, guys, I should have said this in the beginning, but I am doing a giveaway. So I'm going to just make this the giveaway video. Um, I'm going to give you guys a week until I post my next, um, basically, video. And all you guys have to do to enter is have your page is public so that I can see that you guys are subscribed and leave a comment down below whatever comment show tell me if you guys go to work full glam or if this is what you do if you guys do less than this whatever comment I honestly don't mind and then I will pick a winner uh, a winner a winner at randomly I'll check if you guys are subscribed and I will send you guys a gift card so you guys will have the option of choosing a gift card from either Ulta or from Target. Because I know not everybody needs makeup and... Which is fine. And Target does sell makeup, so if you want to get like a shirt and some makeup, there you go. Put all, all of the details in the description box below, just so that you guys can see. Probably said it in the beginning of the video, but... I forgot. Okay, so there you go. That is me with the powder, and I think I already look a ton different from when I started this video. Like, a lot different. Alright. Then I put the rest back in here, close it. We're good to go, guys. Honestly, this is my favorite. I used to use Cody Airspun, um, but this is really good. I say yes. I approve. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to do eyeshadow. And eyeshadow, y'all are going to make fun of me. It's literally just one color. Um, and I'm going to be using Tati Beauty um, because Tati Beauty literally has, uh, they literally have like very natural colors and very wearable colors that I can wear to work. When I have a little bit of extra time, I may put some of the glitter, it's right there, put it on top. Um, or it's not the glitter, it's like the sequin I think. Or some of the, like the orange just to give myself a pop when I feel a little, you know, adventurous. Um, but if you don't have this palette, because I know that, you know, restocks just happened. Um, if you do not have this palette, I'll show you another palette that I used to use before I used to get this one. So, basically, any palette from Jeffree Star you guys could use. Um, let me give you guys an example. So, the Mini Controversy is another one that I've used. I just use the color Diet Root Beer. And if I feel a little extra, I'll use my boyfriend's purse in the inner corner so there's that one and then um blood sugar one of my favorite palettes i've definitely created looks with the colors cake mix ouch and when i'm feeling a little extra donor so you could definitely use any palette as long as it's brown to accomplish my whatever look but as I was saying before I had the Tati palette and all of these palettes so basically back in nursing school when I only had one palette um, I used to use this Morphe and it's the Morphe 35 M Boss Mood it has similar colors it has the orange um, the browns some kind of purplishes so it's not identical like let me open it obviously it's completely different it's completely different, but you guys get the gist of it. There are colors. So as you guys could see, that brown right there, I used it all over my eyelid. That was the color I would use the most, um, followed by this one right here. And then um, usually in nursing school, I would never wear glitter because I thought that people would call me out on it. Um, but yeah, I would use maybe this one or like that one at most. Um, if I was being a little adventurous. So yeah, the Boss 35M, really good. And it doesn't break the bank. It's like half of the Tati Beauty. So, and I recommend it. I have done 
great amazing looks with this one uh greens that orange these oranges right here are amazing beautiful i've gone to parties with them the purples are pigmented so there you go it's a good palette it's a great palette i recommend it but i'm gonna use this one because this is the one i've been using the most recently and basically the colors that i use the most are soothe um that's actually the one i use the most and then when I'm feeling a little adventurous, I will use Soothe Sequin and Soothe Metallic. Oh, sorry. Soothe Sequin and Soothe Metallic when I'm feeling a little adventurous. Um, but yeah, I don't really use much of the other ones in this palette for work. I'm not going to go in glitter fest either. So I get my eyeshadow brush and I just kind of hit Soothe all over. And then I just put it. I just make sure to get enough so that it's like a one coat thing. There you guys go, very natural. Uh, that's all I do. So like I said, sometimes I will go into the shade Story right here and put that in like the outer, just very little, blend it in. Um, I'm not going to do that today. I rarely do that, honestly. I rarely do that. I only do that on the days that I'm going to go in like at 12 and like just have a lot of time in my hands um and so but I will, something I will do that sometimes I do more often is I grab a little bit of the soothe sequin, sequin with my fingers looks like that it's very glittery and I just pat it on and there you go I don't know if you guys could see it it's just a little glitterific and that's it for eyes. That's what I'm saying. You guys are going to make fun of me. That's it. I don't do much. I don't blend. I just kind of go. So right now, this video, it's 17 minutes because I've been moving around a little bit and talking in the middle of it. But literally, I get ready in 10 minutes with all this. Like 10, 15 minutes at most if I'm really doing something slow. But 10 minutes, I do all this. And also, I like to use a blender, like a beauty blender to put my foundation on because it doesn't make me look that patchy. Like sometimes when I've done the brush, like you'll see streaks in that one, you just do it pat, pat, pat real quick and you're good to go. Okay, so the next thing I never leave home without is eyeliner. So first is my watercress under. I can't do that in the camera because I actually have to hold my eye a little bit to do it. Um, so give me a second. And then I do the Epic Ink Liner from NYX over it. Um, sometimes, honestly, when you think about doing your eyeliner too much, it becomes shit. When you just do it, just real quick in the morning, like I got two seconds to do it, beautiful. So I'm going to try to do it just how I do it in the morning. Give me a second. Okay, so I already got my watercress eyeliner. That literally took like two seconds. Get yourself a good one that just by one swip, you're good. So now I'm going to do the top one. I'm going to try to do it just like I do it in the morning. that's it that's how I do it and probably leave if I'm happy with it but I'm gonna fix it a little because today's my day off just kind of quick fix and that's that now I feel like I look like a complete different person than when y'all saw me in the beginning of this video take a pause go back come back y'all will see so now I'm gonna do my mascara this is the lash paradise really good real fluffy I don't always do this I'm gonna be honest sometimes I'll walk out the house like this oh so here's the thing when I was in nursing school I didn't do the eyeshadow always sometimes I would just put the the, the eyeliner because I think that gives me a world difference um, and I just step out put some chapstick on good to go okay and most of the time I am done like this I will get I will get my chapstick put it on put it in my pocket ready to go ready to roll i'm done i'm good to go sometimes i will be a little adventurous if i have a few seconds and i will put highlighter on these are my two favorite highlighters to put on this is a gorgeous highlighter and it is very light it's supreme frost or whatever i understand that but it is very light when i don't want to put that glitter on top right there sometimes i'll just grab this 
put it on, good to go. Like it's just super easy, multitask. This one too, just a little bit, good to go. But I don't always do that. Now, as for lips. Sometimes, like I said, I always put my chapstick, I always take my chapstick because that is one thing I need. Now, the other ones I take to work, just in case, are, this one's my new one, my Ciate, on the color Topaz. It's a little bit orangey, but it's very natural. So when I don't put glitter or anything in my eyes, sometimes I'll be in the middle of like work and my lunch break, I'll put some on. I look cute. This one, sometimes when I do the very minimal also, it's the new Ciate one that I got too in the color Whisper, the glitter flip where I have to go like this. But most of the time, it's this one, the gloss in the color, her glossiness. This one, I wear a lot to work um, because it gives me a little bit of hydration. Um, so here you go. And that's it. I'm good. It's very natural. It's glossy. It makes my lips not feel dry. And since my hair is up, it doesn't get in like my face or anything. And there, that's it. I'm good to go. Um, so yeah, but usually these I apply at work already, like, in like a little break. Um, I don't usually just show up like that. Usually I show up with my eyeliner, my foundation, um, and some eyeshadow. But that's it. Put on my, um, put on my earrings, maybe, and then my smartwatch so that I could time stuff at work. And that's it. I'm done. And I hope you guys like this video. Um, I, like I said, this video did take a little bit longer just because I am talking to you guys. But other than that, this look takes 10 to 15 minutes at most to accomplish. Um, so I hope you guys like my little tips of this tutorial, I guess. Um, which I shouldn't be calling it a tutorial because I'm not a makeup artist. But yeah, I don't put contour or anything. Maybe if I got time, I'll put a little bit of setting spray, whichever one I got. The Urban Decay or the Jeffree Star X Morphe. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, hit that bell notification. Um, and like I said, I will be doing a giveaway. So the description is down below and yeah, it's really easy to enter and it's just for you as only for now. Um, depending on how this one goes, maybe the next one I will put it, um, I'll make it internationally, and for that one, maybe, I don't know, I'd have to know what stores there are internationally, maybe like Morphe, or I think Jeffree Star is worldwide, so maybe some of that, something like that. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much, um, I really appreciate it, I do uh, love reading your comments, and I'll see you guys on the next one, bye. One last thing I did forget to mention was that I also take this to work. It's a Pacifica contact high. It has crystals inside, as you guys can see. Um, and I just use it to give myself a little smell or smell it. Um, go like this. It's really nice. It's a very light fragrance. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoy it. Put some here. Um, it's really nice. And another secret to carry is poopery in your bag, especially if you're a nurse. Um... I have the lightest smell one, it's like rock candy, and I just take it, and, you know, don't put it on the patients or anything, but you never know when you need it. So yeah, bye!